Welcome to this week's video on double or combination on MIDI roundabouts. And we're going to be going ahead on this two ahead of us. We're going to be going ahead on both MIDI roundabouts. You can identify them by the blue circle sign with the white arrow going clockwise or the white paint on the ground identifying them if the sign's been knocked down. So as we approach it, you can see ahead of us and on the, on the bottom corner, you can see the arrow, what I can see on the right hand side of my side window. So at the moment, there's a white band coming across, so we're slowing down to give way to him. And as we enter, we're in second gear, coming across to the right lane, so we're checking our mirrors. And there's nothing on the right, so we're going to follow the road ahead. So, so as long as it's, it, you go at a safe speed, possibly second gear on the approach, maybe about 10 to 15 mile an hour, you've probably got enough time to give way to things. So if we look at the opposite direction, to go ahead again. So as we go over the brow of the hill, you'll see a lot clearer of the arrows on the ground. If it's a lot busier, and you're going from left to right lane, then maybe a right signal is probably wise at that point, so let everyone know. So as we slow down for the roundabout, we're in second gear, slowing down to give way to our right. At the moment it's clear on the right, so as we enter in, we're checking our right move to come across to the right lane. If there's a signal on, you cancel, check ahead of you, there's nothing, check onto your right, there's nothing, follow the road ahead. We're going round and roundabout as you do it. Now as we, as we come to the next one, we're going to be going down the hill towards the roundabout and we're going to be doing a right on this first one so it's nothing too tricky it's going to be a right turn it's mirror to the right signal to the right slowing down for a lower gear checking to our right it's clear at the moment so we're going round the roundabout possibly letting your back tire skim the island and then follow the road ahead at that point so as long as it's clear and you've got your speed down you'll, you'll go around quite safely as we come to the next one, we're going to be doing a combination of going right and left here, so it's signaling on the approach, obviously mirror signal, checking to your right. As we're entering the right signal on, we'll come across to the left lane when we're coming off, mirrors to the left, signal to the left, checking to your right, that grey car's in the far right lane, so he's not actually turning right, he's going ahead. So when you see him, you're looking what lane they're in, looking what signal they've got on at the same time. And then we're going to go combination again, we're going to go in right at the first one, left again at second, just opposite direction, so we're signaling the approach, slowing down, checking to our right, there's a learner car coming across, so we're slowing down to give way to him at that point, pop it in first, checking to see it's clear, entering the first gear with your right signal on, coming across to the left lane when you're exiting, checking to your left, signaling left, checking to your right, nothing ahead of us turning right, nothing on the far right, turning right, turning left at that point. And then as we come to the next one, we're going to be going right and then ahead. So we're checking your mirrors to the right, signaling to the right, slowing down to the right. And there's nothing on your right, so as you're following it around, you stay in the right lane to go ahead. See the arrows on the ground, staying ahead in the right lane, checking ahead of you. Nothing coming, who's close, nothing signaling, so you're just following the road ahead. Just like that grey kit van is doing the opposite of you at that point. So I hope you like the video on double mini roundabouts, I hope this gives you an idea what, what to look for and the approach speed, what gear and so on. Good luck with your next um, lesson and if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Take care and see you next time.